We were in Cambridge, Massachusetts. We were in Inman Square. We had our own theater, which was a converted bakery. And uh, for anybody who knows New England, um, the building that we shared a wall with was the beginning of Legal Seafoods, which is mm -hmm. this great chain of, of seafoods. And uh, so they would actually feed us cups of chowder, and styrofoam cups, because we'd let them come to the show and they'd give us free chowder. Um, but it was a fixture in, in Central Square and in, in Cambridge, and, and uh, we, were, we were good. We were good, and, and uh, we were very popular and got uh, we got a lot of press and a lot of attention, and enough so that they thought, well, we should open up a company in New York. So um, they picked me as one of the people who was going to go to New York, and I went kicking and screaming. I didn't want to leave Cambridge. I loved it there. I was just so happy, and that's how I came to New York. <laughs> this was an actual job, mm -hmm. and uh, we worked uh, Thursday through Sunday. No, maybe Wednesday through Sunday. And uh, we had a theater. We started out at a theater on 27th Street, and then we moved out of the Mercer Arts Center, mm -hmm. which um, was being turned into this fabulous new arts place in the village. And, and part of it was an art center, and above it was a welfare hotel. And so the people in the welfare hotel were convinced that the art center was going to just keep going up and up and up and take over their homes. So they were not happy that we were there. And uh, eventually the building fell down but after I left. But there was a, there was a bar there that um, was designed by some futuristic designer and y it looked as though you were going into a mouth and you were sitting on molars. You felt like you were in somebody's mouth having a glass of wine. But anyway, it was an interesting time. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest was on the first floor and we were on the second. Oh wow. Yeah. 